back to Camping Court Covington. I'm Brian, and today I get to share with you one of the most exciting barrels for me personally that we've had in quite a while, and it's Rittenhouse. Um, those of you that have talked to me know that Rittenhouse is one of my absolute favorite ryes. It's bottled and bond, so four years old, one season's distillate, all made at Heaven Hill, and it's just a beautiful ride to start off with. It's honestly one of my favorites for cocktails. It hits all the right notes, but this one's a little bit something special. I've been really excited since we were told we were gonna be getting this barrel a few months ago, and now it's here. So, as it's here, you gotta try it. Now, usually I say, you know, this one has a lot of vanilla, this one has a lot of toffee or caramel. This one's just so well balanced nothing is overplaying anything else on it. It's just like hitting the perfect chord. And I love bonded things. So this right now, phenomenal. $40, come on in and grab it. And I had every intention of making it an old fashioned today with this, but it's just, uh, it's too good. So instead, I'm gonna use Rittenhouse. Just the regular, regular old Rittenhouse. The favorite way I like to make an old fashioned myself. Just do a, a nice pour there. The Rittenhouse. A little bit of the Demerara syrup lends a little bit more earthiness to it. I like just about half an ounce. It's a little extra sweet for that one. A couple dashes of the Fee Brothers Old Fashioned Bitters. It's a little bit hybrid on the cinnamon, which I like. I do like a good cherry. And then we have these uh, candied orange. Those are nice. It's your favorite cube of ice. Honestly, with regular Rittenhouse, you can never go wrong with a good old fashioned. Yeah, doesn't get a whole lot better than that. So come on in and get your single barrel Rittenhouse and your regular, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.